Hi guys, Misty here. Welcome back for another episode of Color Your World with Diamond Painting along with me. The latest update is that AliExpress issued me a $25 refund for my missing diamonds. So now I'm going to go ahead and purchase the missing diamond uh, because I actually got a hold of mine and they told me that they wanted me to purchase for one cent they wanted me to purchase the diamond so they could resend them to me I'm like are you serious right now you guys sent me the the um, wrong diamonds for one and you miss a whole number of diamonds and you expect me to pay you more money to wait two months to two three months four months maybe who knows how long so uh i did not cancel yeah. the I did not cancel the... You know, let me just double check this because I just freaked myself out. Um, so I'm doing the hourglass symbol which looks like an H. I was flipping through TikTok today. Uh, if I sound a little funky, it's because I was flipping through TikTok today and this um, person posted about how their husband was a great he was a soldier he was a great father um you know all these things and then what are you doing <laughs> and then she posted a picture of her holding his hand in um in a casket and then um i noticed that she was um, bringing awareness to 22 a day, um, and PTSD, etc. I, I can't see those kinds of things because it makes me really sad. So I started tearing up and crying. I was trying to tell my husband why I'm crying because he's like, looking at me like I lost my mind because out of nowhere I just start crying. Um, my, it, and you may or may not know that my husband is a soldier. I, I'm an army, yeah, I'm an army wife. So anytime anything military related pops up on my feed, I'm going to, like, totally watch it. But, uh, I was not expecting to see that. At first, I didn't know what I was looking at because the video is um, showing him playing um, with lightsabers with his kid. And then it switches over to her holding his hand in the casket. So, um, suicide is very unfortunate um see i don't really want to talk about this but then i don't want i don't know
I love these colors so much on these cherry blossom trees. We used to have in our in our apartment we used to have cherry blossom trees. Those were cherry blossoms, right? Our apartment in California. Yeah. Yeah. Right outside of our door, so whenever it would bloom, we would try to take a picture in front of it. But it doesn't bloom very long. At least not the one that was in our. That's a maple leaf. In our uh, apartment complex. I took a quick break and ate. Well, actually, it wasn't very quick. It was long. I think it went like a couple hours stretch. Um, so in that time frame, I actually looked and found out that I got the refund of twenty five. I think it's twenty five ninety five from AliExpress. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna order the drills I contacted. Um, Diamond Drill USA. Um, I contacted the person and asked them if they had enough diamonds from the same dye lot for me to be able to get 35 bags, which equals 7,000, um, plus I'm also going to need, I'm also going to need some 152s to make up for the color in the aerial picture so it's going to take about 25 75 i think to get it but i'm at least happy because at least i know that i'm going to get them in you know quicker time i don't have to wait months and possibly get lost and i still haven't i still have not gotten a um, a response from Mayan except that they wanted me to cancel the dispute um, and that they would send me the drills but I had to pay a penny for said drills and I'm like why should I have to pay for your guys' mistake even one more penny it, it seems reasonable, but it also seems unreasonable to pay any more money for something that they should have already done to begin with. So I didn't even um, really have a chance to respond because I was trying to decide what I wanted to do. But it ended up defaulting and giving me that much money back, which I'm fine with it. Um, I'm just a little irritated because I think that they could have done better customer service wise to to satisfy the issue. I mean, because I asked them, I can get it, you know, in like probably three to five, maybe eight business days. Why should I pay you a penny more for something that I was already supposed to get? Um... But I don't know if they're going to send me the schematic now. They said that they are trying to contact the factory. But um, I don't know that they'll give it to me now that I got a refund against my purchases. Although, if they don't, um, then I might try contacting AliExpress and having them help solve the issue because if they don't send it to me then it's going to make it really hard for me to do those diamond paintings. I mean they're pretty unreadable so um, and uh, like I said I don't start something without having a complete a complete amount of sets because I don't like to skip colors so I was actually uh, I'm working on a diamond painting that I'm 
that I'm not showing on my channel. Um, and it was nice to be able to sit in front of the TV with my husband last night and like watch, just watch TV and, and like just diamond paint. <laughs> and I haven't been able to do that in a while because I've been really busy. So it was nice to just um, chill out and because my husband started watching The Green Mile, um, and I like the movie a lot, and he started watching it while I was <clears throat> editing videos, and I'm, like, pausing my edits and, like, watching the movie, and I'm like, can you, like, not watch this right now while I am... Um, trying to edit because I'm just watching the movie so then uh, he's like fine I'll, I'll put something else on because I'm wearing headphones while I'm editing so I can focus better on what what I'm listening to and what I'm hearing and because um, the kids can be pretty loud in the room and such and I mean they had already went to bed by then but um, well one of them went to bed. The other one kept going in and out of the bed. Um, so my three-year-old, he'll he'll pretend to go to bed and then he'll come popping out in like an hour like, hey, what are you guys doing? So we'll think he's asleep because he's been in there so long and then all of a sudden, nope, he'll come over and kick the door open and we're like, what are you doing? <laughs> so... Anyway, um, so we, we watched the movie and I was just able to work on, on that diamond painting and it was just really nice to be able to kind of just chill out and we haven't really watched any movies in a while. We, we pretty much watch TV shows a lot because we have, like, we have a lot of them, so... Well, I have more than he does, but we have a few that we do together. Let's keep the hair on this. My shed everywhere. I don't have to worry about animal shedding. I shed in this house. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, so I had to call today because the dogs peed on our porch again today. So I'm like, I'm done. I'm at my wit's end. I'm, I've got to say something because they're obviously not going to do anything without anyone complaining. And um, they're going to schedule to have our porch um, um, pressure washed again because they came and pressure washed it before... Um, and then they were supposed to take care of their dog issues, which obviously they haven't because, you know, I'm sitting here again and I hear like something draining off the top again. And I'm like, are you serious right now? And I open the door and it's like right above the door. Like it, it's splashing on the sidewalk, like next to my door. And so that means it's all over our door, all over everything it's gross so there's the office is supposed to call them and give them their second notice and if they don't comply then they're gonna end up with a, a fine I think it's like two hundred fifty dollars or something so and I feel bad because I I don't want the dogs to be taken away. That's not what my that's not what I want. But I feel like they obviously are not taking their dogs out enough that they have to go pee up there. So I find that very annoying. Alright, 
Sorry guys, I'm getting distracted because I'm trying to to order these diamond drills from diamond diamonddrillsusa.com. They have um they have spare drills they sell um in different quantities you can buy them in different quantities um they're i think they're based out of washington the state of washington um and they even have square AV drills. They have the round AV drills too. But you can pretty much get from what I can see on their website, this is my first time ordering from them. So I bought a food scale thinking that it would help me to be able to weigh these and figure out how many diamonds are in in a package well me trying to do that didn't work out so well so what I had to do is I because my food scale that I bought it did not have kilograms it only went grams so I weighed a bag of three tens, the large three tens for the Disney castle. And it seems like there, I, I estimated that there's 2000 in the bag. So I counted out a thousand to split the bag in half and they both came out five grams so they both came out five grams but when I put on what I thought had 200 per bag in there they came out to I put three bags of 200 on there and they came out to five and I'm like, how did they come out to five if there is less than a thousand? So I think the reason is that maybe because it doesn't have kilograms on it. So I'm having my husband take back the food scale and I'm going to have him get a jewelry scale because I think maybe the jewelry scale will tell me better um better what the actual diamonds weigh because i can't put a single diamond on it to have it weigh register for weight All right, so the video got cut off midway through um, while I was off camera though I found out I got an email from a viewer who asked me to try out his product so you can look for that in the near future it'll be um, product testing of uh, light pad. Um, well, I, I assumed it was a guy. I'm not sure if it's a guy, honestly, but a company. Um, also, I ordered my uh, missing drills from uh, Diamond Drill USA. So I'll be looking for, forward to that. 
coming up. Um, I am just like wanting to get this painting done so I can start the ocean wave. Which is the one I decided to start with, um, of the large one. Um, which is, I have to wait for the missing, the missing drills for that, to start that. But, I mean, like I said, I, right now I've got a couple projects going, so I'm just trying to get these done. Because I don't want to fill up my hard drive with all of the the videos and such. Since I do time lapses of my vi with my videos, I um, keep all of my videos to map them together. Um, my husband made the most awesome lasagna for dinner tonight. It was amazing. My sister actually helped him make it, um, because he liked, he, he does not want to learn to cook, but I hate having the same things over and over and over. But he likes to make the same things over and over because that's what he knows how to make. So, um, but he did a really good job on it. And, I mean, it's not that hard. He just, he is like, uh, about how many steps it is to make. So, a few years back, I actually years back I actually um I used to do the cooking and the deal was that I do the cooking he does the cleaning well he decided he hated doing the cleaning so then I said well fine I hate doing the cooking so I didn't cook and he didn't and he didn't do dishes but then um, he started having to do the dishes and because I was like, fine, then because I thought that he would be like, oh, OK, let me um, let me just do the dishes uh, since I would rather you cook. So now he has to do both. So he's not happy about that. But I'm like, hey, you blew it. I gave you an opportunity. I mean, honestly, you guys, my feet and back and body hurts all the time that I have such a hard time even standing up and stirring spaghetti and spaghetti is super easy to make it's just um a lot on my back since I had um Aiden my that is not a dog barking that is my son Aiden barking uh since I had Aiden um, he, like, really, like, sat on my sciatic nerve, so, since I had him, I've had nothing but sciatic nerve pain in the back, in my back. So, I mean, it, sometimes it gets to the point where I will be walking, and I'll almost, like, fall out to my knees, because I'm in so much... Pain. It's like sharp pulling pain. So, um, and I don't always know when it's going to happen. So it's not something I expect. I almost, I almost fell to my knees while I was pregnant because, because I got out of the, out of the, the van. We had a van at the time. I got out of, the, out of our van and like my legs wanted to give out in it like really freaked me out. I went to the hospital and they said that nothing, that there, there's nothing really you can do about sciatic nerve pain. Really. And um, that, 
you know, it's normal and because I, I couldn't figure out why I was in so much pain. Um, so, uh, it was late at night and, you know, I got really freaked out because I was pregnant and I was just like, oh my God, I, my back is just hurting. So, and every time I tried to walk, I think I like, I think I had like a panic attack with it a little bit too, because I was like, why is my back locking up like this kind of a thing? Um, so, yeah, it was not, not something I was used to have, have going on with me, so, um, I have my first 1,000 views on a video, and that, to me, is, like, a huge milestone, because, um, that's the most views I've gotten on a video, so, so I am super excited. Now, uh, when I get to a thousand subscribers, I think I'm going to faint, <laughs> uh, if I ever get there, but, um, I should, okay, I'm going to be positive about it. I said when I get there, I'm probably going to faint <laughs> because I was not expecting, um, you know, the even the videos to be watched as much as they have been and so it's always nice and I love hearing from you guys and um your your thoughts and and whatnot so you know sh you can always shoot me a comment or email me or find me on Instagram um or yeah, you can email me or whatever. You can comment below. I love hearing from you guys. Um, and if you guys have any requests or suggestions. Or if you just want to say hi. I don't mind. Um, I try to make sure that I respond to everybody. Especially while I still can. <laughs> um, but no, I try to answer everyone's questions if you, if you have any questions. Um... If you have any suggestions about trying something, um, I might be open to that as well. Trying, I like trying some new things and, um, yeah. I like to hear how long people are up in diamond painting and um, what inspires them to to diamond paint and and um, and all of that. I'm curious um, I have purchased from Mayan because of their port glue I was unsuccessful with my purchase from Hankins and they actually blocked me from making purchases from them um, and so that to me is not very great customer service 
do you guys know of any other companies that have good quality poured glue? Because now that Mayan is not working out for me and I will never purchase from them again, I have got to find another AliExpress company to purchase from. Um, I mean, I know I, I can't afford the arm and leg. I know you guys see that we purchased these two high-end, I mean, high-priced uh, diamond paintings, but if I would have purchased the same size paintings from one of these um, other companies, then I, I would have paid a lot more. Um, because when I, when I paid for my pay with diamonds one, I spent, I think it was nearly $80 or $60, something like that. It was quite expensive. And, um, so this, those two canvases are for our fifth year anniversary. So it's not something that my husband will let me buy very often. Um. I I don't think he'll probably let me buy anything that that expensive anytime soon uh, again so um, and I and I honestly don't have the the you know wall space probably either so so we're working on um, you know, like smaller paintings at this point. Um, but, um, I need to find where to buy my next diamond painting. Um, and, I tried to research and find other port glue. The problem is that Hankins blocked me from chatting with them, but they didn't block me from from the search, I guess, their store. So whenever I search poured glue on AliExpress, they come popping up and it's frustrating because that's all that I see is them on there and their two companies. Oops. They're two companies, um, and so they blocked me on both of them, by the way, <laughs> um, because when I had a problem with Hankins, I messaged the other store, the official store, and I asked them if they own the company or, you know, or what, and they didn't even answer me, so um, they just blocked me, <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Hey, well, I guess you really don't want to talk to me about it then. And to me, that's just really poor customer service. Especially since I did nothing wrong. <laughs> All I did is purchase the products when they put the product on sale. <laughs> so, what are you doing? Just looking. You, I mean, like, if you don't want something on sale, then don't put it on sale. But, um, don't say it's on sale if you're not going to honor the sales price. And I even, like, the part that bugs me about that is I even ask them, like, point blank. Like, I see it's on sale. Is this accurate? Yes, yes, it's accurate. Okay, purchase. And then it's like, no, you owe us money. Uh, no, you said it was this price, so I'm not paying you any more for it. Needless to say, I could probably order on my husband's account, but I'm already over this, this company. It's crappy, obviously, um, crappy customer service, so I'm not happy with that. And anyway, so whenever I search Port Blue, I can't find it anywhere, so... If you know of a company that does um, customs, 
with poured glue or um, maybe not maybe not necessarily customs maybe um, maybe they do blank canvases because I can deal with blank canvases probably too um, it's just not gonna be fun <laughs> Um, I've actually not done, I've not done a blank canvas. I have repurposed a canvas, uh, because whenever Shine sent me, um, a picture of, I had a picture of Tinkerbell rend rendered and they, um, cut the hands off for some reason in the picture and I was like, no, I don't like her hands cut off. Uh, that's too, like, weird looking to me. So, uh, I asked them to redo it. So, they redid it. And, I don't know if I said who it can or Evershine, but it was Evershine, which, I mean, it's the same thing anyway. But, um, so, I repurposed the cam, the first canvas they sent with the hands cut off, and I you have used it to make. Um, stickers for my husband or um, or whatever um, I'm probably gonna make an 8 by 10 out of it with extra drills um, I was working on a like a 5 by 7 photo size of, of a um, a rendering I found a cross stitch rendering I found on on I think it was uh, Etsy or something like that I can't remember or Google or something and um, so I ended up um, I ended up throwing that away because my husband kept digging in my tent in my um, plastic bin and every time he would he would crunch it up and so it was basically crumpled into a ball and I was like you know what just throw it away I don't want to see it anymore uh, because you're ruining it every time you every time you dig in there you're ruining my canvas um, you're ruining it to the point that it's not flat anymore and so and I and I didn't get to finish it it was something that I was working on um, when I was staying in the shelter because I at first didn't have any um, any really small diamond paintings to work on. Well, I did. I didn't because I I thought that I was just going to be working on like stickers or magnets or something like that. But then. Um, but then I decided, well, I can still work on the 8x10s. Um, and so then I pulled, I ended up pulling my 8x10s out. Um, which, um, they have a lot of, they have a lot of 3865s or 5200s in them. So sometimes they can be a little tedious to do. So... Um, what is going on? They're having the time of their lives in the laundry room. Huh. I'm like, where is he? Because he's like drowned out, but he's giggling. And I'm like, I don't know if you're tickling him or what is going on. <laughs> he's laughing at Aiden or what? Yeah. Oh my god. Don't throw up. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, it was, yeah, it was just like a crumpled mess. So, and what sucked was I had only a limited amount of color, um, of one color from that painting. So, I won't be able to recreate it until I get more of that color someday. Um... And it was actually a, like a 5 by 7 of, um, of Rainbow Dash. And yeah, 
so it was like, it really sucked because, because it got ruined and it, yeah, I probably could have put it under the bed and flattened it out, but I mean, it looked like it was crumpled into a ball pretty bad. It was missing diamonds. I was just like over frustrated. Because I've said like a bunch of times, like I have stuff in there that I don't want crinkled or crumpled, you know, crumpled up or whatnot. And he'll, I'll ask him to grab something for me and he'll just like dig through it and just, he doesn't want to take anything out and set it aside. He's got to just flip it up and flip it over. And so he, he actually dented my my pen here so that I had to put a hole because I originally for this pen, pen I originally made a Skinner blend of rainbow and then I have these little um, these little parts right here that are rainbow I had them they were triangles and they were little triangle sections but I had to basically like really thin it out and like add more onto it. So you can't even tell that it was a Skinner blend um, of rainbow. So it just, I mean the pen turned out good still. So I'm happy with that. But it, um, there's a part that has a little bit of a dent in it still that I couldn't get smoothed out no matter how. I tried so um so it has a little bit of wonky uh a little bit of a wonky uh effect on the sides but I think it still turned out great so I'm okay with it I keep like half wondering if it's gonna break though because I don't I don't know if I cooked it um baked it long enough but so far I haven't had any problems with it, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I mean, I have plenty of clay left over to, to still do that. I mean, I'm probably going to make some cover minders, or I was thinking about making the little separator things uh, for um, inside my, my containers. For my um, extra drills, so so yeah, I was gonna um, try a couple things out. I don't know. I haven't decided because I don't even know what I want to make yet. Uh, so but it in the clay, like if like when I I did it a few months ago, so I don't even remember really remember but it was really hard to do a Skinner blend um, by hand <laughs> because I literally had to do it by hand I don't I don't have a pasta machine um, I was actually looking into that um, and it's like the cheapest I would be able to get it for is $20 and all of the reviews on them seem like they're not that great so I don't know I don't know what I would use and I don't know if I really want to invest in it if I'm not going to be doing um, much with polymer clay but I don't know we'll see how it goes because like I said I still have clay um, I still have clay to make stuff with so and I read somewhere that the clay is poisonous for children, so it's not meant to be handled by children. So I can't, it's not like I can let my kids make stuff with it or anything. So I might just make a couple more done painting pens and stuff with it. I haven't, I haven't really decided yet. We're getting, we're getting somewhere, I think. It doesn't feel like it because there's so many of these. The color, this color. But 
every time I think I'm done, I'm like, woo, there's a whole nother section. <laughs> so. So my youngest is going to be three in a few days. And I am so sad about it, you guys. I wanted to have another, another baby. My husband doesn't want to have any more. And... Uh, because the two we have are quite a handful. Um, and sometimes it can be really overwhelming. Um, I, I mean, I really hoped that he would be further along by now in his learning and his talking. And, and he's just stubborn. <laughs> Um, so, I think, I mean, I honestly think of it, he's just being stubborn about it. He just, you know, he doesn't have to answer, well, why should I answer? Uh, or, you know, because we went to my sister's and he's like, she's telling him how to dance. Like, okay, so do... Um, rolling of the hands as um, and she puts on Saturday Night Fever song and and he's like you know like twirling his hands like this and then and then uh, and then she t she taught him to do finger pointing upward and d to like she she'll so she'll be like fingers in the sky and he'll just point up and like start doing that and I'm like are you serious but if I say he just looks at me like I'm nuts <laughs> like uh no I'm not doing that <laughs> but with my sister he like just is like a sponge he like absorbs her and like everything she says and it really it really frustrates me because you know she's always like I can get them to learn things. I don't know why you can't. <laughs> I just found out about Diamond Dots at Home. It's an affiliate program where they would send me a web address and you could purchase Diamond Dots through my affiliate link. Um, it's kind of like an MLM program. Um, I think that's that's what I gather and um, if I became an affiliate um, I would make a commission I'm not sure if that's something that um, you guys would be interested in um, you know buying um, through that um, or not but if it's something that you guys might be interested in um, let me know what your thoughts are on it um, I sold Jamberry a few years ago and also Unique and I found that I was not very passionate about the whole makeup and um, the nail wraps were wonderful but um, they, I feel like they just did not sell as well as, as um, like it didn't get people excited. So. Anyway, um, if that is something that you guys might be interested in, um, having an affiliate um, to buy from for Diamond Dots, uh, comment below, let me know, you know, either way. And um, I'm going to think about this a little more and do some more research, but I'm um, just trying to see if it's something that you guys might be interested in. Um, thanks. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.